Welcome back to some more Monster Train. We are here doing our 200 plus shard rotations. Back to a good all awoken in the sentient. Let's depart. Oh boy. Uh, we got stealth tombs, we got sharpens, we got engrafts. So we got some survivability, which is fun. Um, let's see if we can capitalize that into something. We are restores, we do see awoken banners. Which is good. I will take the Hell's Banner. And... Hmm. You know what? We're going to take Sentient. We're going to take Rejuvenate. It's been a long time since I've done a Rejuvenate run. We'll see if we can make it work. Pop. Pop. And we bop one more time. Yeah, see, this is the issue. I played bottom when I shouldn't. All right, we're doing, I guess, decent. Let's reform a bunch. So we drop you down and you get you the spikes. We're gonna take a little bit of damage, oh well. Train steward encasement. Get five damage in. If we get some reforms here, we're really set. Awesome. Eh. Whatever. We'll take another 12. Take the Razor Sharp just because it's amazing offensive scaling. A molten encasement, so now we have two of them. And we're going to take the Sweeper. Um, we can't really go Thorns if we're doing Rejuvenate. We see Endless, awesome for us. We don't really need the quick, we already have one sweeper. So we're gonna, we have three tombs. That's actually pretty good for our density though. Burn out one of them. We're just gonna give you plus 25. Spell chain. I'm gonna spell chain the engraft. And nothing needs intrinsic yet. All right, tomb into tomb. And then we battle. I think we can push through this. We'll find out. Not a bad start here. We want to guarantee we get at least one trigger there so we just don't die next turn. We let the train steward almost perish. Whoops, I thought I was dead. <laughs> I'm bad at math, I'm at... Yeah, okay. Um, you know what, we're gonna drop the encasement down bottom. Get the double hit. So we can reform here. Drop the train steward, get rid of all the junk. Yeah, we take one hit. Um, and that would kill us. This is why you don't go. Rejuvenate. <laughs> oh boy. We drop the tomb, we drop you. Yeah, we can't. We have to do 
25, what? It's 15, 23. Okay, one last time. We play you center, you bottom. So we can just blast here. Should have played the train steward, but I'm a fool. All right, tomb goes down, you come out. We get the stats. Get double stats. We are going to take seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, so we will survive. Why can't I do math today? Why can't I do math? Alright, let's figure this out one more time, shall we? Okay. We do this, and that might be needed. Awesome. Awesome. Let's just get your stats back up in case, give you another regen. Okay, now we only take five. We reform. We're gonna drop double tombs and get the kill with sentient. Awesome. Skip. Ooh, uh, drip fall is good. Shuffle things that we can't kill around. Um, kind of want that multi-strike here. Just take the money. Good large stone. I don't think that's ideal, though. Five short. Five short. Purge a card, gain a card. Goodbye, primitive mold. Awoken rare. Skip. Ha ha. Multi-strike. <laughs> um, just in case I get something that actually scales damage a little bit, we are not going to infuse you quite yet. All right. Well, this is a pretty nice start. Get some good stats. Get some damage going. You take a few hits for me. I'm gonna get rid of all of our junk units. Nice reform on a train steward. Just keep dropping everything. And we got a big sweeper in the back to clean out.
clearly doing some great work here. Need some more ways to get regen though. Right, because we are just barely at. I mean, we got a lot of stealth here, so I think we're going to be fine. Definitely want that over just another stack of regen, though. Anyways, easy kill. 20 odd stacks of stealth will get you through. We're just kind of slow at scaling damage. I'm gonna take the Awoken Thrill Spike. <sighs> no, I can't take any of those. Unfortunate. Take a draw. I'd rather an artifact. Yeah, we're gonna take the Triple Strike. And a sap tap. A double extinguish is good, but I'm already at a state where I'm getting a four stealth. I can easily push a crazy amount of stealth. Okay. This is fine. Just need to get the ball rolling through my deck. We're getting some good draw. All right, we can draw four, which is one good card. We can draw three. We're gonna draw two and guaranteed two good hits here. All right, we're starting to push through some damage. I did not mean to drip all you actually, but it doesn't matter. All right, get the razor sharp. We are going to last a bunch. Does that kill me? I think it does. Yeah. Ah, that stupid drip fall. We need a drip fall that uh, the tank though. The we're actually gonna play you bottom. Yeah, we need a drip fall. The tank that does nothing when it comes up. That is the correct call. Take our draw two again. We're gonna keep blasting there. Gaining our gold on bottom. Yeah, that tank needs to be drip All No questions asked. Go away. Because then we can actually blast out the front unit, which is the scary one. Everything else is small enough that we can take it out normally.
right. We get the razor sharp, we get a couple more blasts in, we get a little bit more damage here. We get the double ember on a perfect turn. You're gonna get a lot of junk next turn. Get a nice clear though. Double junk is a little unfortunate. Um, we have 12 rounds, I think we're gonna be fine. Yeah, I mean, we're very fine here. Better, just another Razor Sharp, doesn't matter. Get some good money. There we go, I need that Awake so I can build regen stacks. We're gonna go to the right. Candle's good. But I'm going to the right to dupe this rail spike. Having two rail spikes is really gonna let us get through stuff. Once again, this doesn't matter too much. We just have to be careful of the big dude waves. All right, we are going to drop everything out. Perfect. Draw six, that's a really good draw too, right? We start building some regen stacks and stealth upstairs. Yeah, so there's the scary dude. Draw four. It's pretty decent, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna let things perish. And what we need the most is going to be attack up top. I'm a little sad that didn't get the minus one. That would've been nice. We're gonna drop you, we're gonna drop more burnout. We're just gonna drop this in the back. If I get the drip fall, I'm extra happy here. I don't. I do now, so we can drop you, good. And that's going to let me blast in a good amount of damage. Um, we are actually... We're going to take 22. If I drop you down, that's what? How much armor? 10? Yeah, so it's not going to change how much I take so up higher. We need to drip follow you again if possible. It's going to get some reforms, get more stats up there. Awesome, we can drip follow you so we can actually blast out our enemies. Um, reform is good, burnout one again. Well, we're just gonna stack your burnout up here. Whoops, wrong guy. Actually gonna get that guy dead. And eat a round of stealth. Let's just take up the regen for some free damage. Call it good. We get through most of the health just off the back of the regen stacks, which is nice. Memorial Fund is great. Um, we have two of both of those already. We don't need an edge fire, so we're going to skip. Skip again. All right, now we go left. Money, we see remove, consume, perfect for that spike. Let us get re guild marker actually, because that is going to help me purge my deck down at some point. 
Oh, and there's a Wormkin Etchings. Oh, man. I could do a Wormkin Etchings Infinite, but I'd rather not. So we're going to take an unnamed tome. Minus ones. We're going to go into the restores. Same with a 20 consume. Awesome. And we are going to purge out what? Nothing for now. The deck currently is good as is. Where's my dupe? My dupe is on that side at the end. Just something to keep in mind. It's all going to be fine. We drop you. We drop you. We drop this. Oh boy. Free regen. Now these are two annoying ones for us. Just because I can't, that's gonna stop me from sp <sighs> spell spamming. I'm gonna silence. And we are going to double in graft to take those out. We had to cast all the other spells and we didn't get the spell cost increase, but it was good for us, very good for us. Um, we need you down. If I draw two, it's not an amazing draw. If I do this, that is 12 more damage, so it's still one shy. Um, so we're gonna draw the four. Okay, that turned out. Well, I mean, I guess I should have realized that would kill. We'll draw one more. Now we're building a few regen stacks, which is great. We reform, burn out two, you can go down here, bop. Bop. We're just gonna get stacks damage. That's what's most important. Hmm. We're just shy of taking that guy out. We can take a jump next turn. And we'll take 12 to the fire. Let's reform. We can drop you down. We need a. Uh... Oh, we barely not kill. So we have to send you down. That's a reform. We're just gonna drop the units down here. Bop. We take them out. Awesome. But let's build up a few more regen stacks. We're just barely, 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 barely sticking in there with the damage scaling. It is insanely close. Now our Relentless is amazing, okay? Could say that much. We're just gonna take another spike, because it's good. We're gonna take more draw, because more draw is good. We are going to go to the right. Cloak is great. You see a holdover? I'm actually gonna hold over this drip fall. Um, minus two, another rail spike. Going to purge out a primitive mold. All fun. 
we're just going to... You have one more round of use. So train sewered into train sewered one last time. Okay, minus one into a rail spike. I'm going to permafrost the other one because I'd rather just get the guaranteed dupe. We can minus one our drip ball. Just take more damage. Of course, junk is very annoying. If I get a good start, it's not going to matter. We're just going to draw six right away. Yeah, see, that was a... That was good. Draw one more. Figure out how we're going to get through all of this. When I haven't quite. I'm going to drip fall there. We're going to get rid of the two. Yeah, I see. I don't think this is working out. No, that's not going to work. That is not going to work. We're just going to deal with the junk. And we're going to play top. And we're definitely just going to draw these six, though. And we just need to get through our deck as quick as possible to find our scalers and be able to cast them. Let's drip follow you. Okay. Stealth, you. We drop those off. We are going to silence a mid floor and daze you. We're going to take three hits. Now is when things get a Especially spicy. Okay. 30. I think it's fine to drop you now. Now we're going to draw 8. Awesome. We can draw one more. Why not? And let's do it middle just for that extra five. Okay. That comes down. You go down. Hmm. We're going to see. We do have to drip fall you, unfortunately. Yeah, I need to drip fall that tank again. Fall the bad guy. And that still comes in for 100 damage and kills me. So we have to be really careful here on what we actually drip fall or don't drip fall. Oh, 
tight one. So we, we're going to ignore you as much as it hurts me to say. We're just going to start getting our stats. We're just going to accept the loss. We are going to casement you Let's get rid of the junk we blast once. We can razor sharp. We're going to silence the floor. We drop four. Perfect. And we daze that guy. Okay, we hit the razor sharp. I'm gonna get the double reform. Four. We're gonna hit you, and then we're going to draw three. So we do that twice, then you have to drip fall it so you can blast the next guy for a lot. I need to do, I want to pump you up by 12 and take one hit. I think that's better than the guaranteed kill because it's going to help me in the future ways, which is important. I should not have dripped that. That was my mistake. I got too eager. I'm gonna take another 30. Oof. Okay, the primitive mold comes down. You go down. That's 120, so we blast you again, then we drip ball and we can make sure we kill with that guy. Very cool. Now we can just go ahead and drip fall this guy out for now. It's not gonna matter, we have enough stats. Poor awake. All right, you come down. I'm gonna double reform. And we just kind of blast through this poor gilded. And we just want as much going on as possible. Right? Because each death is five more gold. <clears throat> We don't have spikes, we skip. We are going to skip those as well. We're going to go left. What do we see? We see another multi strike. We see sketches and faulty loader. Spell chain. And a purge. Anyways, you can go into the Molten Encasement. We're gonna take the Faulty Loader. Extra Spell Slot. If I Spell Chain you, should it's probably Spell Chain this one. The spell chain would drop plus zero, which is the downside. We can get rid of one of the reforms. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna take that. I'm going to spell chain. 
I mean, this isn't bad for a spell chance. We're going to do it. We're going to dupe it as well. And now it's time to purge things. We are going to go by train steward. Honestly, goodbye awake. I am cycling the deck quick enough. The wake's not quite as needed. Um, let's get rid of one primitive mold. So we'll still have one in the deck for reforms. A restore. We need two units each round. So train steward. No, we just double tombs. And a sharpen. Okay. Thin deck is good for us. Get rid of you. We are going to drop our units. We can drop five here. Very cool. Let's drop four more. There's my tomb. Get rid of those. Take some more draw. And. Nope, that's good. That's actually good. Okay, so we can silence, we can drop. You are still alive, unfortunately. Should have played you on a different floor. Alrighty, we will do our best to blast the enemy out. I'm gonna keep drawing cards. At the moment, we don't need to shovel things with the descent. So we're not going to do that. Awesome. We draw eight. I'm going to draw ten cards next turn. Just get that spikes going. Get you out of here. That costs zero now as well. Very cool. I have a 13 card deck. All right, so we drop you. We reform and drop you. We can blast. We're going to blast. Blast. We draw nine. You only draw one. It is this, though. Nice. I'm going to double blast again. We draw two. We blast so our draw one actually hits something. Is this an infinite? It's kind of a sad one if it is, right? Yeah, see, it's not. Okay. But it is a good chunk of damage, at least. Well, they're not here this round, so what we're going to do is... We're going to make the Sharpen cheaper. Yeah, well, I think we're just going to uh, cast everything every turn. We're not even going to try to combo. The goal is just to get a deck of zero cost spells. Get all them stats. Keep drawing, bam, bam, bam. That was the wrong dude. Who cares? But at least with this pseudo infinite, I should pretty easily be able to uh, keep the mini bosses away from me the whole entire fight. Which is awesome. Poor boss.
We are gonna be actually kind of low on health on our uh, sweeper. I mean, at this point, you know, we want to make sure we draw ten each round. Which we do. We're just like one or two cards shy from a perfect infinite. Which is why I did take the guild marker and like, okay, I got a good rail spike going. There's a chance I get an infinite here. I've got to actually reform my second unit. Whoops. Hilarious. Give me money. Anyways, you go down, we heal, we reform, we drop you. Yeah, let's just clear the wave. We need to get it to a hand of nine, there we go. Or a hand of 10. Just gotta keep making sure to redraw our deck every turn. Let's draw six and then one. Or six and zero. And then we can draw these cards. Ha ha! Could have played this first for extra draws. I don't care. We've got a victory here. Do we already have the win? We're just gonna click enter. I'll save you that extra rounds. They're already pretty slow. Blank pages is hilarious. Yes, please. <clears throat> Playing pages is also some extra damage. Though, once the deck gets going, I'm drawing 10 cards a turn, so it's not gonna matter. All right, we are dropping our two big dudes, getting rid of our hand, and there we go, Molten Encasement. Draw three. We can even drip fall this turn so we don't risk any damage. We're drawing nine, we have two permafrost. Let's see if we can hit, ah, darn it. Missed the card I wanted. Anyways, let's get the reform. You can take out those backliners. And then once again, we're just gonna get I mean, you want all of our spells to cost zero. So that is going to be our goal. Okay, can I draw something besides the spikes? Thank you. <laughs> How dare I complain about this in um, and then once the bosses start appearing, we're just gonna keep them dripped out. So we're gonna silence this floor. Um, and like I said, we're just gonna keep the bosses eternally drift balled, which means I don't care about silencing them because I'm not gonna ever let them be on stun. Oh, I forgot to do this again. Um, let's work some damage onto the bottom. Right? I drip all chains. No chains damage. Well, we've got enough going on up here that we're pretty well set.
You know what? Let's uh, give our dude some stealth, right? And let's just double drip all you just to make sure you can't do any shenanigans. We're just going to draw all these cards out. Bam. Right, Chains goes back down. You go back up. Healed the wrong guy. Doesn't matter. Draw six. We get all of our stats. Why not burst through for a little damage? Draw five. All right, we are blasting through these waves. All right, one of the key ways to make explosive good is just to infinite combo. Days again. Gonna keep throwing chains under the bus. Go away, chains. Draw nine. Ridiculous. Anyways, we keep drawing. We've done a Good chunk of divinity damage already, actually, right? 7,000 health, we've already done 2,300. Keep the day chains dazed. I'll actually probably get rid of the armor guy as well. We'll find out. Send you down. <clears throat> Send you out. I guess I could have played you mid. Even slightly stronger. I get. I also. I got the purge. Bug. That one's always annoying. I don't want the purge copies. Anyways, draw one. Purge. Purge. Draw one. And graft. Ah, oh, this is probably where it triggers because it shuffles back in. Anyways, I'm gonna keep chains permadazed. This is gonna be fine. Goodbye, chains. We are going to draw five cards first, and then we're going to reform our dude. Oh, he doesn't perish. That's hilarious. Go away. Draw. We're gonna draw. We're gonna draw. We're gonna draw some more. We're gonna draw again. Even more. Draws, get them out of my deck. One health there, that's pretty good. Okay. Um Goodbye chains. Get all these draws out. We're gonna get you out of my hand. We're gonna get this draw out. You. This draw out. Goodbye, you. We are just gonna accept the junk. Sometimes it's just how you have to be. 1400. We almost got the flying kill there. Which is pretty impressive. Shartel Queen! You, let's drop the chains. Some nice burnout too. 
almost kill that guy just with these dudes, which is hilarious. Just gonna keep blasting through the enemies. Because I can, and it's hilarious how much attack they do. Bam. Okay. Easy kill there, though. Easy kill. Oh. Forgot. Have this talking to me. I thought I was going to the end screen. I looked away. Just gotta drag this out that extra minute. Sorry. Run summary. Not even a record there. Oh, there we go. That is explosive sentient for ya. Um, yeah. It doesn't always work. It does occasionally. Mostly, I mean, uh, I had a solid... So one of the issues with explosive sentient is uh, survivability. You're pumping regen in it, but usually, especially at high shards, that regen is not enough to actually push you through and survive fights. But I started with the molten encasements. I started with two, drafted the third, and like, oh, two molten encasements is going to give me a good amount of defensive survivability. Um, whereas then I could molten encasement my floor have sentient sentient can actually get through all their stacks of regen without dying and then i can have a backliner behind that just kind of taking things out just had to avoid you know awoken hollow or thorned hollow they wouldn't really work well because they're three pip and you know they want the rejuves as well but yeah that was the plan and it worked really well triple striking sweeper we got the sentient blasting things. We got so many rail spikes, which uh, just made it so much easier to stack everything up and kill everything. Yeah. Because otherwise we would have to do a lot more juggling as we kind of saw in the penitent fight, which was a rough. Um, but it was still risky throughout, right? 27 damage, 5 damage, 5, 22, 12, 40. Most of the fights we took damage. Um, just once we got that pseudo infinite patient and divinity had no chance. Um, and then Daedalus also was easy as so, you know, occasionally that's fine. But uh, it was a lot of struggles and that's what you can expect if you're trying to really push explosive. Still super good in the base game, but really a lot more difficult than the DLC. All right. Well, that is the end of this nice 300 chart runs. So with that said, thank you for watching and have fun.